Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy NeoXO, and today I have a fun video for you guys. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite magic types in Black Clover. This is by no means a power ranking list on the strongest magic types. I might do one of those in the future, but for this video, I'm just going to stick to my favorites. So if you're not subscribed already and you like Black Clover content, make sure to do that. And with all of that out of the way, let's get right into the video. <laughs> So at number 10, I have probably the most basic magic type on this list, and that's going to have to go to fire magic. Now, compared to the other magic types that I have on this list, fire magic is definitely the one that's more basic. But at the same time, out of the four basic elements of magic, I think that fire is the best one. And I wouldn't feel right not putting fire magic on this list. Out of the four elements, fire is the one that I probably most relate to. It's very aggressive and it's very destructive, and you can use that for a lot of attack type spells, and I really like that. It's also one of those magic types that's very diverse. You can use it like Mary Leona, and you can just use it for like physical attacks, or you could use it like somebody like Fugelian and use it for light. You could also use it for some long ranged attacks, and depending on how strong you are, you can make this fire really, really hot and pretty much burn through anything. So, yeah, fire magic is definitely gonna have to be on this list. Now, coming in at number nine on this list, I have to put Spatial Magic. Spatial Magic is one of those magics that I feel like isn't really talked about as much as the other magics. But throughout the series, we've seen a variety of uses for Spatial Magic. We've seen people like Langris actually use Spatial Magic in an attack type way. We've also seen people like Fenrir who don't really like attacking and hurting people. He uses his to make portals to travel to pretty much any place that he knows about. You know what I mean? And depending on how strong the Spatial Mage is, the potential for spatial magic is just astronomical imagine just transporting yourself to anywhere in the world or imagine just erasing anything and just transporting it to an alternate dimension via spatial magic that's just crazy langris can literally erase things so yeah spatial magic definitely has to go on this list at number eight on the list i have gravity magic now gravity magic is on this list just for the fact that it's overpowered this magic type is really powerful. Imagine being able to control gravity. I think that's really, really cool. Somebody tries to run up on you. You could just put your gravity times 10 or times 100. Gravity magic could pretty much render a person unable to move. You could use it in an opposite way and you could pick things up with gravity. You can make things smash down to the earth with gravity. You can create a singularity. Gravity magic is just really, really OP and you can use it in a lot of ways. You can put gravity around you to be really strong to where somebody attacks and they can't even touch you because the gravity just disperses their spell. Just amazing power and I have to put gravity magic on this list. Now one that I think everybody is probably going to have on their list is dark magic. Out of all the ones on this list, this one definitely is very dark as the name suggests. You can literally create a black hole with this magic. You can slice through dimensions with this magic and this magic has, in my opinion, unlimited potential we haven't really seen the full capability of dark magic this magic right here is very unknown not a lot of people even get this type of magic because it's so unknown and it's so rare to get a lot of people are actually scared of this magic and i feel like it's just the opposite of light magic it's capable of bringing about nothingness imagine being trapped in a black hole you would just experience nothingness this magic is definitely another one that's super powerful and in my opinion it's really really cool now at number six, I got blood magic. I don't really know if most people like this type of magic, but to me, I really like dark things. And imagine being able to control someone's body directly by manipulating their blood. Or imagine being able to manipulate your blood into a weapon. Like this is a magic type that is absolutely overpowered and it's very rare. I also like magic types that are very rare. Kind of like Julius Nova Chrono, he also likes magic types that are rare. And blood magic is very rare and it's very special. Like this magic type is very edgy if you ask me and it's a perfect magic type for someone like a villain. It would be kind of weird to see a good guy use blood magic and like manipulate someone's body with their blood. And like blood is kind of dark, like, cause blood signifies pretty much that you're injured or you're bleeding out. You could be bleeding out and someone use blood magic and just completely use you like a puppet, literally. But blood magic is really cool. I like the dark aspect. It's really grungy. And I love that about blood magic. So yeah, blood magic, perfect at spot number six for me. So moving on to the next one that I have on this list, which is number five, light magic. Light magic is one of those magic types that is light speed right off the jump. 
it's very very powerful and it's very very rare i already stated that i like rare magic and light magic is very very rare and we see every time that this magic is used throughout the series is by a very powerful mage so you pretty much have to be very special in order to receive light magic and we see in lumiere lumiere bringing down the light magic on demon form licked that was one of the best moments in the series for me that was absolutely powerful and i really enjoyed that we also see lumiere fly through the air using his light magic and he leaves like a light trail behind him i don't know if that has to do with him having light magic but i'm pretty sure it does but lumiere's light magic really cool we also got pachi with the light magic his magic is pretty cool too he uses it like a whip and he also has these beams of light that he shoots but one of the main reasons that I have to give it to light magic on this list is it's very cool, man. Like imagine being able to control light and moving at light speed and having your attacks at light speed. This is pretty much one of the fastest magic types ever made. So it makes perfect sense for me to put this on the list. At number four, we got time magic. Now time magic is very, very overpowered. Julius Nova Chrono literally has the ability. He has the ability to literally speed up someone's life by using time magic to the point where they turn into dust. That is very, very OP. Have to put this on the list. I believe that everyone should have time magic on their list of favorite magics. And the way Julius Novacrono uses it is just absolutely amazing. He can literally create a pocket dimension where he controls the time in it. So if he wants to reverse time, he can do that. If he wants to speed up time, he can do that. He literally can look into the future with time magic. Time magic is just in a realm of its own, man. Like time magic literally is in a league of its own you really cannot mess with time magic you can try to hit this man but he already sees the attack coming time magic pretty much allows the user to operate outside the natural laws of time so he's pretty much untouchable if you have time magic you can possibly be untouchable because you're not even working in the rules of time so if someone tries to attack you you're outside of time so how can they even hit you you know what i mean very 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 strong magic type and i got to put that on the list so at number three i got imitation magic you guys know that i always like to throw a wild card in my top 10 lists so imitation magic is a magic that pretty much can copy anyone else's magic attributes so so if someone has this magic attribute they can pretty much not unlock new spells they can pretty much steal a spell from somebody else we see my boy raya has this type of magic and he pretty much copies any spell that he wants in a way, this is pretty much like having all of the magic attributes because if you can copy anybody's magic attribute, then you basically have them all. This one right here is absolutely limitless. I see really high potential for this magic type, especially if you master it, because I feel like a lot of people who have this magic type wouldn't want to master it because they can just copy other people's magic. But if you actually master imitation magic, I feel like the limitations on this is absolutely, absolutely limitless imagine copying a super super high tier spell and just reversing it and using it against your opponent absolutely crazy magic type i gotta put this on the list one of the coolest magic types ever created so at my number two spot i have to put word soul magic now this magic is absolutely a beast pretty much it's a beast man you literally can say whatever you want and in the surrounding area whatever you say will happen so if you pretty much say firestorm then a firestorm is going to appear if you say sword storm then a sword storm is going to appear if you say fall down your opponent is going to fall down if you say get up your opponent is going to get up like so this magic right here is extremely useful imagine if something fell down on top of you and you just have to say pick it up and it picks up the debris that fell down on you like this is useful really really useful really really powerful and you pretty much can do a bunch of things with this. You can use you can use it to heal, you can use it to attack, you can use it to defend. And this magic right here, it's pretty much like the words that you say are your spells. And that's absolutely amazing. Gotta put word soul magic on this list. And number one, I gotta put dream magic. Now this magic is my absolute favorite all time. You pretty much can make a dreamlike world and spend all your time in there. Like I know people were saying like how they didn't like Dorothy because she was sleeping, but what I got to say to that is if you have the ability to create a world where anything you want manifest into it and you pretty much can do whatever you want in that world, why would you want to spend time in the outside world? I would never want to spend time in the outside world. I would always stay in my dream glamour world and it would be absolutely amazing. I could do anything I want in there. Pretty much my dreams are coming true. Any dream that you can imagine comes true inside of your glamour world and it's absolutely amazing. 
there's a lot of stuff that goes on in black clover like pretty much kingdoms getting attacked and people dying i could pretty much just go into my glamour world and do anything that i want and it's pretty much i manifest whatever i want it's also absolutely powerful because if you trap somebody in here it's going to be a hard time for them to try to get out of this spell and it's just absolutely my favorite magic type and it's fun you don't have to do it to cause destruction or anything like that you can do it to just go in there and have fun and make anything come true your your dreams literally come true i don't know why anybody wouldn't put this as their favorite magic type but yeah that's my favorite magic type so if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe and also be sure to leave your top 10 favorite magic types down in the comment section below and with that being said it's been your boy neo xo and i'm out